Praise the Lord, y'all. want to thank you guys for joining me for this video today. This is Too Blessed to be Stressed. And we are at it again with another cleaning slash faith content video. And I know that might sound odd. Oh, yes, that's what it looked like up there. I am shocked myself. But as I was saying, I know it might sound odd, but this is what this channel is about. We clean, we praise God. We cook, we praise God. We organize, we praise God. We decorate, <laughs> you better believe, we will praise God on this channel. So for those of you who are new, this channel is exactly what it says. Too blessed to be stressed. Honestly, we have too much to contend with on a daily basis to be stressed about cooking and cleaning and decorating, making sure things are just right and straight. I don't lead that life and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't. So what do we do? We let it do what it can do. And we thank the Lord every day, all day. There are certain things that we just cannot control, but we know who can. And in the midst of it all, we know that we are just too blessed to be stressed. For all of my returning subscribers, I want to thank you guys so much for coming back for another video. You guys are truly amazing and I am so grateful to have you guys on this channel. I'm so grateful to have your support and your love over the years. You guys know me, you know I love me some Jesus, and you know that every chance I get, I'm going to share him. So in today's video, although I could play some music and just let you guys clean along with me, you guys can still clean along with me, but I am definitely going to be encouraging you in the Lord. So for today's Bible verse, it's Lamentations 3 and we're starting in verse 19. It says, I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them. And my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. When I read this verse, it really makes me think on the last year of my life and all of the ups and the downs, the good and the bad this past year has been an extreme roller coaster ride and one day if the Lord permits and if I feel comfortable sharing it I will let you guys know everything that happened but this year was the year that if I ever realized how much God means it was this past year this past year was very difficult and like this Bible verse says I remember my affliction I remember the wandering through the wilderness through the hard times through the trials I remember the bitterness. I remember feeling alone. I remember feeling like, Lord, why is this happening? I remember fasting and praying and seeking him and not sleeping for days upon days, just waiting for him to answer and to do something. And then he reminded me It is of the Lord's great love that I was not consumed in that moment. That I did not allow that moment to completely consume me. That I did not allow my situation to finish me and rip my faith away from me. That when I was going through that hard and difficult moment where 
I was wandering. And some of us, when we go through those situations, we're not only in a wilderness, we're in the valley of decision, where we're literally deciding, are we going to keep our faith? Are we going to keep walking with the, the Lord? Because this is just too much. That the Lord reminds us in that moment, it is his mercy that's keeping us. It's his grace that's keeping us. When we are weak, he is strong. He is there for us. We may feel alone. It may seem dark. It may seem cold. And you may feel like all you're he hearing is radio silence. But I promise you, the Lord would never leave or forsake you. Even in the darkest moments, even when you pray and you feel like heaven is led, believe me, he is there. Every mor morning that you wake up is a testimony of his goodness and his mercies being renewed to you. Every day that you wake up, tell yourself, I am still in the plans of God. He still is with me. He still has a purpose for me. Allow him to walk out your day for you. I pray that this video has been an encouragement to you, not just to clean and get things done, but to remember the goodness of God in the midst of trying times. To remember that God is for you. Remember that you are too blessed to be stressed, no matter how things may seem. Pray that you have an amazing day. Take care. God bless.